Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy and welcome back to my bathroom for my evening skincare routine. I hope you were able to join me last week for the morning part of my skincare routine. If you missed that one, I'll link it right up here for you so you can bounce over and watch that one and then you'll see the whole thing morning and evening, which I'm calling my healthy, glowing, firming, wrinkle reducing skincare routine. And I am always so psyched to talk to you guys about skincare and what I do to keep my skin looking healthy and looking younger than it is every minute that I get older. <laughs> Even though I didn't start skincare when I was young, I abused my skin when I was younger, I still came to a point when I turned 50 10 years ago that I was very unhappy with my skin. I wanted to change my ways and do something new, so I dove into skincare really learned about the ingredients, put together a skincare routine for myself, and kind of embarked on a, an experiment right here in front of you guys to see what would work. And I have found some things that actually do work. They help your skin to look better, healthier, firmer, more glowy, and less wrinkled than it might have been if you didn't do any skincare routine or if you continued on your skin abusing, sun worshiping ways. So I use a lot of different products. I use some gadgets. I pretty much want to come at this anti-aging thing and getting better looking skin with both fists. I want to use everything that's available to me that is not terribly inconvenient, that's easy to do. And what I found over the 10 years is that it works. It works to be consistent with your skincare. It works if you use the best ingredients that we have available to us and you use them consistently over time. And it really does make your skin look so much better. So anyway, here's my 60 year old skin coming at you with no makeup on today. I do have a little bit of um, sunscreen on because I always have my sunscreen on. The light is coming in from a window over here. And of course I do have a couple of lights to help because otherwise this side of my face would be super dark. I have combo skin. So I used to be pretty oily through the T-zone. Now I'm like minimally oily through the T-zone. The older I get, the drier my skin gets. It tends to be a little bit dry around this area, normal the rest of my face. My neck is super sensitive. Can hardly use anything on my neck, especially as we go into the colder months. Now that it's October, we're going into heating season. My skin is going to be getting drier and drier as the season goes on, as the heat comes on more. And so I've adjusted my skincare to add in some more moisturizers, some thicker, more emollient things. But basically everything is staying the same as far as the ingredients in my skincare that I'm getting. I currently don't have any Botox or filler in my face because, you know, I'm testing this little gizmo, so I had to let my Botox wear off around my eyes. I did get it in my forehead, but unfortunately that has worn off as well, so I have full forehead movement. Um, and the last time I got filler was like eight years ago now, so there's none of that left in my face. I've never had any plastic surgery. I have had one Fraxel laser dual treatment on my face. But I can link my procedures video right up here for every procedure I've ever had done, which isn't a ton in case you're curious. So let's dive right into the skincare routine. So in the evening, the first thing that I want to do is remove my makeup. So for that, I use a double cleanse. I use an oil-based cleanser to take off my makeup. Oil is the best thing. It's the best thing for removing your water-resistant sunscreen as well. So for that step, I've been using the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm forever. And I think it is the best, but I recently started using the Grace and Stella F-Balm This Works and F-Balm This Does Work and it works as well as the Clinique at a very much lower price point. So I'll put both of these in the info box below the video. That's where the links for everything will be. So if you want something more cost effective that is from a cruelty-free company, I believe this is also like vegan and you know, gluten-free and all that good stuff, that is a really good one. I put that on my face dry and I just rub it into all my makeup, the base of my lashes. It really breaks up and removes your waterproof mascara, your waterproof eyeliner. Then I use this little cloth, which is called the Wonder Cloth, and this is an exfoliating washcloth. So this kind of starts my exfoliating. I splash my face with water to emulsify the oil balm and then all the makeup and the oil runs down the drain. I give it a rub with a damp wonder cloth and that gets all the makeup off. Then I do like to remove the oil from my face because I want to make sure that I'm getting 
the maximum absorption with my active ingredients and so I don't want an oil barrier that is going to keep my ingredients from absorbing. So then I go in with a gentle cleanser. This is new this year. I used to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gentle Cleanser for sensitive skin, fragrance free. I've recently switched over to this Derma E Sensitive Skin Cleanser. I love this so much. I think this is really good. I don't just use my hands for that one. I do have a little device that I use to really make sure that I've gotten all the makeup off to really clean my skin. This is the Tao Ona Diamond Facial brush and this little R2-D2 is so cute. This base is a sanitizing base and so it keeps the brush head sanitized in between uses. So it's protected in there from all your you know bathroom germs and it also has the blue light that keeps bacteria from growing on here. This has different heads that you can get for it. I think it comes with just the standard head but there's now a silicone head, there's a gentle head, there's an extra exfoliating head and there is a body brush head. I've been using this for so long and it's always been called the Aura, but they suddenly renamed it to the Ona. And in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Tao is doing a fundraiser for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And so for every one of these mauve pink Onas that they sell, they're gonna donate 5% to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I also have a 60% off discount code with Tao for any of their devices. It's hot and flashy. You just put that in at checkout and it will take 60% off your purchase plus 5% will go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So that is awesome. Wanted to share that with you today. So after that, I dry my face. Then I have to wait like a minute or two for my face to get fully dry before I go in with the device that I'm using at night right now. It is the Nira Laser. This is a new device that I've been testing for about a month and a half. I have about a month and a half left to go with it. And I'm using it currently on my under eyes and on my crow's feet. And I'm also using it here on my nasal labial folds. I'm here on my lip wrinkles and here on my like chin texture. It's really quick and easy to use. You just turn it on, you select your power level, and then you hold it up to your skin wherever you want and you just press the button and it gives you a little zap of heat. You do about 40 pulses beneath each eye and it's so quick. It only takes me like a minute and a half to do both eyes and then like three minutes to do the total thing on my face and then I'm done with it. So, so far so good on this. I will be doing a follow-up video at the end of November, maybe beginning of December on it to give you my before and after pictures. And since my face is now completely dry, and I like my face to be a little bit damp when I put on my skincare actives so that it'll be more absorbent. I go in with my Isn't Tree Green Tea Toner. I use this like an essence. I just sprinkle a little bit into the palm of my hand and then I just rub it and pat it and press it around my face and it just rehydrates my skin. It's basically water with green tea in it and green tea is such a good ingredient to have in your skin. It is an antioxidant and so it helps your skin fight off those free radicals that are caused by exposure to sunlight, pollution, stress, all right, so usually when I'm putting on my skincare, I go from thinnest to thickest, but the exception to that is with my most important skincare ingredient, and that's my retinoid. Now, my retinoid of choice is tretinoin. That is the prescription retinoid that is proven to do the most for your skin. It is like 10 times stronger than over-the-counter retinol, but tretinoin is only available by prescription here in the United States, and so you have to go to your doctor's office, get a prescription for it, then go get it filled. Or you can use the service that I use, which is Agency. I'm an ambassador with Agency, and I have been for about a year now. I was an ambassador with their sister company, Curology, for four years before that. So this portion of the video is gonna be sponsored by Agency. This is a far better way to get your tretinoin because it takes all that hassle out of it and you just go on their website, you upload a few pictures of yourself, you fill out a little quiz, and their dermatology providers tailor what's in your bottle specifically to your concerns about your skin. So if you have redness, if you have wrinkles, if you have you know, lack of uh, glow, if you have lack of firmness, if you have age spots, all those aging skin concerns that we have 
can be addressed in one or two little bottles of agency. And the great thing about it is that they put four active ingredients in every single bottle. One of the main reasons that I've been so successful with my skincare routine and with my skin looking better than it is now that I'm 60 than it did when I'm 50 is that I've been able to be consistent when using my tretinoin over the years. And Agency has really helped me do that because they can adjust the amount of tretinoin that I'm getting in my formula to help my skin to be less irritated. So when I switched over from Curology to Agency, I was at the highest level of tretinoin, but we were gonna add in a second product to mine, which is the Dark Spot formula. And these two together can be a little extra irritating. And so we dropped down the tretinoin in my future formula just a little bit so that these two together would be less irritating and it's worked out perfectly. And they can do the same thing for you. They can start you on a lower dosage of tretinoin to start if you're just getting the future formula so that you don't have any irritation during the break-in period. And then they can increase your dosage gradually over time so that you can stick with it because before I was with a service like this and just getting it from my dermatologist, they just prescribed it, didn't give me any notes on how to use it. I went in, I started using it every single day and oh my gosh, my skin was so mad at me. It was red, it was angry, it was irritated, it was dry, it was cracked. I looked at least 10 years older and guess what happened? I stopped using it. So I have been using tretinoin for 10 years, but in fits and starts. And if I had just been with a service like this from the beginning where they could start me off on a lower dose and help me to ramp up slowly and help my skin to adjust to it slowly over time, I wouldn't have had to go through that really ugly phase of my skin and then quit and then waste another year being afraid of it. I could have just stayed on it the whole time. So this is a really great service that can help you do that. I'm using both their formulas. You can get one, you can get both. They also have cleanser. They also have moisturizer. Everything they have has great ingredients in it and they are so well formulated. It's shipped to your door every other month. So this is a two month supply. This is a two month supply. And then it just comes automatically. If you're interested in giving it a try, your first month is free. You just pay $4.95 for shipping and handling. So to use these, I put on one pump of my future formula first. I dot it around my face and then I rub it in. When I first started using tretinoin, I didn't put it under my eyes. I didn't put it near my mouth. Now that I've been using it for 10 years, my under eyes are acclimated, I use it there. I've been using it on my neck about once a week, but my neck is so sensitive that I can't use it there every day. And then I take another pump and I use it on my chest and on the backs of my hands. And then for my dark spot formula, I use this as a spot treatment. So I just take out the tiniest little amount and I just spread it on my dark spots, my age spots, bridge of my nose, fronts of my cheeks where I have redness. And those are the only places that I use that. And I use that twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. Since my neck is so sensitive, I do use a lesser retinoid on my neck. I use a retinaldehyde. Currently I'm using the Geek and Gorgeous 101 A Game. This is their retinaldehyde lotion. This isn't one that I normally use, but I had tried the Geek and Gorgeous for my European viewers. So I'll link this below. I'll also link the other two or three products that have retinaldehyde in that I use regularly. One's from Aven, one's from Maylove. Retinaldehyde needs to be converted by your skin in a one-step conversion into all trans retinoic acid, which is what tretinoin already is. So this is gonna be much, much less effective than tretinoin, but also a lot less irritating. So I can use this every night on my neck and I have no irritation from it. All right, so then after I put on my retinoids, I go in with a lightweight serum that has a peptide in it. And the peptide is Matrixyl Synth 6. And this is from one of my favorite skincare companies, which is Timeless Skincare. And they make really great formulas. They actually have some really nice other ingredients in them, like they all have hyaluronic acid and they don't irritate my skin. They're really nice to use, very watery, uh, and they absorb really quickly. So Matrixyl Sense 6 is a peptide and it is supposed to counteract six different signs of aging. So it's supposed to lift, firm, help, 
uh, your Skin Build Collagen and Brighten. So that is a great thing to have in there. I love that one. Then for extra moisture in my skin, I use May Love the Hydrator. This has panthenol in it and it also has one of my other favorite antioxidants, which is resveratrol. And resveratrol is that antioxidant that is from red wine. That's supposed to be like the fountain of youth secret, right? Of course, you can't drink enough red wine ever to <laughs> have it work that way, but you can put it on the surface of your skin and there are a few studies saying that it's actually beneficial to your skin. It also has hyaluronic acid. So I don't use a separate hyaluronic acid serum. I just think they're unnecessary because everything I use has hyaluronic acid in it already. So why buy an extra product? Um, you know, I like to save money on my skincare. Nothing in my routine is like over $30, I don't think. Um, then I go in with a moisturizer. Uh, I've switched away from the Olay Regenerous line that I used to use. I do love that line. I do still recommend it. There is nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying dump it if you love it absolutely stick with it. When it's really, really super cold winter, I will probably go back to the Olay Ultra. And I love that one because it's really thick and really emollient, but where it's just starting to be fall now, I don't think I need anything quite that thick, but I have been using the Elf Skin Holy Hydration Face Cream, and this is the fragrance-free version. This is a really great face cream that has all the same things in it that the Olay does. It's got niacinamide, it's got a couple of peptides, it's got green tea in it, it's got hyaluronic acid, so it brings everything to the table that the Olay did but much, much cheaper. And it is a really great feeling cream. And I love it that it's fragrance free. Put that one all over my entire face, neck, chest, backs of hands. And then I extra moisturize my neck with my Irritation Buster. This is the greatest thing if you have irritated skin. This is my Derma E Eczema Relief Cream. Oh, I'm so happy that I found this one because I was just battling that neck irritation. And you know, you can see my neck is so not irritated, but everything irritates my poor neck. Sweaters, necklaces, skincare. You know, it starts off going like, hey, I'm itchy. <laughs> Guess what? Within a couple days, I'm gonna be red and cracked and driving you crazy and on fire. So this puts that fire out so effectively. I use this morning and night from like October through end of April, and it really keeps my neck skin from being inflamed and it keeps it more under control. So that's my entire night skincare routine. I know it seems like a lot when I'm talking you through it. I just put them in order in my medicine chest. So I just go bam, bam, bam down the line. And there are a lot of like specialty things in here. Like two of these things in here are just for my neck. And one of these things is just for dark spots. So if you don't have dark spots and you don't have an irritated neck, then that brings it down to like a five step skincare routine, so that's not so bad. But you know, you can customize it as you want. I know a lot of people often ask me about different products interacting with each other and canceling each other out. There really is nothing in skincare that interacts in a terribly bad way that it's going to cancel out another ingredient. That just doesn't happen the way ingredients are created, they're bound together with these really strong bonds that are really hard to break. But that said, what you do need to watch out for is using too many irritating ingredients together. And so, as I said before, you want to avoid irritation. There are ways to mitigate the irritation. You can start with a lower percentage. As I said before, agency can help you with that. You can use it less often. You can use less of it. You can wait for your skin to dry completely before you apply it. You can apply a moisturizer before it that will buffer it as well. So there are lots of different ways that you can handle things like irritation. Oh, I wanted to also let you know that there is an updated version of my printable guide. It's over on my blog. The link is in the info box below the video. So you can hop over to that, print it out, pin it up in your medicine chest or wherever you do your skincare. Links for all the products are in the info box below the video. So that is it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.